Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to another day in the life of a teacher vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Charlotte and I am a fourth grade science and social studies teacher in the Eastern Valley of Phoenix, Arizona. I'm not in Phoenix. <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm on the east side. Um, so it is Tuesday, October 27th and it is spirit week at school. Today is supposed to be twin day, but because we have had like no time for anything other than work, um, we didn't coordinate very well. So we texted each other last night. I'm talking about my teammates and I, and we were talking about wearing band t-shirts, being like a rock vibe. Um, but when I was getting dressed this morning, I hated everything that I tried on. So I decided to just wear this cute skeleton shirt that I bought when I was in California because it's Halloween week. It's like the perfect time to wear it. Um, and tomorrow is wear red day. So I can't wear it tomorrow. Thursday is decade day. I'm totally going to be like something. I don't want to do 80s because I feel like it's overdone. I'd really like to do 50s. I think it'd be so fun. Um, so I might do that. And then Friday is costume day. So I decided to just wear this because it's kind of a rock vibe. I mean, I think so. But I did pair it with my um, checkered bands and then just some black jeans. I wear these all the time. This is a long sleeve shirt, by the way. Also, today's the perfect day to wear this because it is in the high in the 60s. And then tomorrow and the rest of the week, it goes back up in the 70s, 80s here. So I am going to wear this long sleeve shirt like nobody's business. It was also really cold this morning, so I had to grab a jacket. This is super old from Forever 21. I'm talking like six or seven years old. It came with like this inner vest thing, which I took out. Anyway, I've been wearing this thing for years. I love it because it covers my tush. But uh, you probably can't get this like anywhere. You can probably find something very similar. I know this is very um, trendy right now, and it actually has been on trend for a few years because I have never gotten rid of it. So, um, also just got myself a new mama necklace from jane.com. I love jane.com, you guys. Okay. Anyway, I'm rambling. <sighs> hey, you guys. So it is now the end of the day. It is 3:50. I am getting all of my stuff packed up to leave, but I did get a really hard piece of information. I'm just going to keep it plain and simple and short because I don't want to get too in detail because I really can't talk too much about it. Basically, in a nutshell, I have three students quarantining for the next 14 days because one of them had a confirmed case and the other two were too close in proximity to that one without a mask during recess. And so three of them are being quarantined. So they have to go home for 14 days, quarantine, um just sucks like there's no other way to put it it just sucks um so at this point I'm technically teaching hybrid because those three students who are quarantining need assignments um and everything we're doing is digital so that if any child has to go online they have access to the same lessons as the other students so I'm giving my kids the option, if they're quarantining, I will set up my MacBook in the back of the room and they can Google Meet during my class so that they don't miss out on class time and to make things easier on them because they do get to take their Chromebooks home with them, which is awesome. So realistically, the only thing I had to prepare for them was a digital version of this because I didn't want to send this home. And then if they have COVID, they bring it back with them when they return. So I did make a digital version of this. I just took a picture of each page and then made it a background on a Google slideshow. And literally they just add a text box instead of writing things down in the book. So when they come back from quarantine, they'll just pick up right back in the book where we left off. So Every day I will add new pages to that ongoing Google slide and each kid has their own copy. And that way, if they ever have to go home, they have that. So that is what is really good about keeping everything virtual, even though we're in school, 
because at the drop of a hat, any kid can go home and still do the exact same lesson. Um, all they would need to do is just Google stream in, which, you know, if they can't do it, all my Nearpods are student paced anyway. So there's absolutely no reason why they have to miss anything. So uh, tomorrow's Wednesday, it is asynchronous day. We do not rotate our classrooms on Wednesday. So I will be with just my homeroom all day, which will be a class of 10 because I have three in quarantine, one is sick. You guys, it's, tra it's just crazy. Um, so tomorrow will be an easy day. Tomorrow's a day where I get to grade, I get to plan and do all of the things that I don't have time to do otherwise because the kids are in here just working quietly for half of the day and then they go home. So I am now going to head out and I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna change my clothes. I'm gonna go pick up cash and then I'm gonna go to the gym. And after that is a blur. So I have been making it a point to get to the gym every weekday and then I have my weekends off. So it is exhausting, <laughs> but I'm making it happen. So I'm gonna pack up all my stuff. I'm gonna get out of here and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, whew. let's uh, fix that lighting though. <laughs> um, okay, you guys, so I'm home now. It's 418. I just changed and got all my stuff ready for the gym. So I'm actually just gonna head out the door. Um, I plan, I usually try to get to the gym by 415, but because of those three students needing to quarantine, I did have to stay at school a little bit later to get some virtual assignments ready on that logbook I was mentioning. And so, um, what I'm gonna do now is head on over to Cash's preschool, pick him up, and then take him to the gym with me, which I don't normally do. And since I'm starting my workout a little bit later than normal, I'm picking him up first. Normally, I pick him up after I start my, after I've already worked out, just because it's easier on him to just be at daycare or preschool, I guess, whatever we're gonna call it than to go from one daycare to the next, but he really does like the gym daycare. Um, thing is though, is that he is potty training. So as long as the ladies in the daycare at the gym focus on taking him, he's usually fine. If they don't, then he'll have an accident. But I always bring extra clothes with me to the gym, just in case he does have an accident. Sorry guys, I'm like, I'm like multitasking here y'all because this is the only way I'm gonna get a real life vlog up for you guys because my life is literally a blur. Um, so we're gonna go pick up cash and then we'll go to go to the gym, okay? Okay. Hey you guys, so it is now much, much later in the evening. It is now 6.48. We got home about 20 minutes ago and I am cooking dinner. Cash is gonna have macaroni and cheese, per usual, avocado, and some chicken nuggets. So I'm gonna cut one of these up for him. I am having a salad that I just made out of a whim. I grabbed like a bunch of ingredients from Trader Joe's and kind of threw it together. So I mixed this salad stuff. I forget what this is called. Crew, crew, crunchiferous crunch collection. And then I threw some butter lettuce. I cooked up some of the chicken apple sausage, shredded carrot, some red onion, goat cheese, and the green goddess salad dressing from Trader Joe's. And guys, it is really delicious. Um, so this is what it looks like. And then I'm also munching on this mango cilantro salad that Sarah brought over. And, um, it's pretty tasty. She's actually gonna come over and bring me, um, she made like a taco bake and she wants me to try it. So she might bring a little bit of that over. Cash is watching YouTube right now. This is kind of like how I survive the evening because he's distracted, but you know what? I'm not sorry. I give my kids screen time. Um, he only gets it for like an hour, maybe two tops per day. Um, He's been at school, he's been playing at the daycare at the gym all day. So he's exhausted. He just kind of lays in there and watches his show. Um, sorry, my kitchen's kind of a mess. But I don't mind giving him screen time in the evening because it's just me sometimes, like tonight, it's just me. 
And so if I'm gonna be able to cook dinner and do all the things I need to do, he needs to be distracted. So anyway, that's what's going on here. Mm. After we eat dinner, we're gonna give Cash a bath and do our nighttime routine. So I am gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is crazy times, you guys. My life is a complete blur. So I apologize in advance if this channel moves more from like teacher vlogs to like everyday vlogs and more lifestyle. I know that I do have a family channel with my husband, Scott. It's called Apples and the Badge. I will have it linked down below. But I would not be opposed to posting more like my stuff here on this channel in addition to like teaching things because this is kind of like my space. So anyway, I'm gonna end this vlog here. If you guys are not already and you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I have two. I have a teacher, Apples and Tiaras, and I have another personal, which is Princess Char 9 Both of them on Instagram. You guys can follow me there and I will see you in the next video. Bye!